Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn about volume, all right? So volume is basically the base area times the height. Okay, I'm going to show you how it works over here. This is a square, a tank, all right? Uh, and there will be a base area. So the base area is this part, this part, okay? So let me draw the entire base area out. So this is the base area times the height. So the height would be this. Okay, so you need to take the base area times the height. <coughs> so that is the volume. So volume equals to base area times height. So this is really important. And volume comes in cm cube, liters, and milliliters. So there's another triangle that you need to learn for volume, which is volume, base, area, and height. So this is another triangle that you have to learn. It's very, very important. So as usual, um, the bottom two times gets the top, this divide by this gets this, and this divide by this uh, base area gets height. So I'm going to write it out for you. So volume equals to the bottom two, multiply, base area times height. Height, this one, is equals to volume divided by base area. And base area is equals to volume over height. Okay, so once you remember uh, the triangle, this triangle, then things are going to be much easier for you when you are trying to solve your problems. Okay, so that's uh, base, we have done this, uh, we have done this as well. So one liter equals to 1000 cm cube and one liter equals to 1000 milliliters. This is something that you are going to need to remember. So 1 litre equals to 1,000 cm cube. And 1 litre equals to 1,000 millilitres. 1 metre, 1 cubic metre is equals to 1,000 litres, which is equals to 1 million cm cube okay so these are very very important things that you need to remember the one liter equals to 1000 cm cube one liter equals to 1000 milliliters and one meter cube equals to 1000 liters so one meter cube basically looks like this you have a cube and each side here is one meters here is one meter and here is also one meter all right so this is one meter cube and it is equals to one million uh, cm cube or 1000 liters okay so 1000 liters or equals to one million cm so let's look at a volume of a cuboid. So if you want to find a volume, it's simply the length times breadth times height. And you take, this is 21, this is 12, and the height is 15. So it's 21 times 12 times 15. Uh, that's 3780 cm cube. You need to divide by a thousand. So 3780 divided by a thousand goes back three decimal place. So it's one decimal place, two decimal place, three decimal place. Therefore, the answer is 3.78 uh, liters over here. So let's take, let's try and find the volume of a cube. So you have a cube of 36 cm by 36 cm by 36 cm. The volume is 36 times 36 times 36 equals to this amount. All right, so let's help you to 4, 6, 6, 5, 6. If I go back from cm cube, I want to convert it into liters. 
So it's one decimal place, two decimal place, three decimal place. So it equals to 46 point six five six uh, liters or you can say 46 liters and 656 milliliters okay so if you want to find one side of a cube you need to cube root the volume all right cube root basically means you take a number okay let's say this number is eight and you need to find what is the number that is something times something times something equals to eight all right so the answer is actually two times two times two equals to eight so this three numbers are called the cube root of eight so therefore to find one side of a cube you will need to cube root the volume because uh, it's the vo the volume times the vo uh, the length times the breadth times the height to get the volume. That's why you need to cube root it. Okay, so now let's say you have a square and the square is side S. So all four sides are the same uh, length. So if you want to find the area, the area is equals to S squared, which is also equals to S times S. So if the square, if uh, there's a square and the side is 5, so the area is equals to 5 times 5, which is also equals to 5 squared, equals to 25 cm squared. Now if I give you the area and I want you to find the side, it's actually square, uh, square root of the area. So if I give you that the area equals to 25 cm squared, what is the side of a square? So side equals to square root of 25 equals to 5. So that's the answer. Uh, the perimeter of a square is 4 times the side. So it's 5, 5, 5 and 5. So if I want to find the perimeter equals to 4 times 5 equals to 20 cm and if I give you the perimeter of a square equals to 20 cm what is the side all right so the side is equals to 20 divided by 4 equals 5 cm over here all right so if you look at this the side is the perimeter divided by the uh, divided by 4 you'll get one side of a square. Now this is something that you must know, total surface area. So total surface area of a cube is one, two, three times three more sides behind. So surface area of a cube is equals to six times, six times one of the surface area, all right? Uh, let's say I call this S, so it's S squared. So let's say I give you a cube of side of side 7 cm. All right, so surface area of this cube would be equals to 6 times 7 squared equals 294 cm squared. And the volume of a cube is s cube which is volume of the cube of side 7 cm is just 7 cube which is equals to 7 times 7 times 7 equals 343 cm cube okay so let's look at rectangle so area of a rectangle is length times breadth so this is length times the breadth uh, if I give you the area and I want to find uh, breadth or I give you one of the things. So let's say I give you area over breadth. All right. So if let's say I give you a rectangle. This is 10 and I say the area is 40 cm squared. So what is the breadth? 
So the breadth is equals to 40 over 10 equals to 4 cm. Now the cuboid is more important. Uh, so volume is still length times breadth times height. If you want to find uh, any one of the the length or the breadth or the height, you need to take the volume divided by the other two sides. Okay. So common questions, uh, a common question will sound like this. If I give you 10 cm and 4 cm, and I the volume inside here equals to 150 cm cube. What is the height? So that's a very common question. So again, if we look at the triangle, volume, base area, height. So if you want to find height, it's volume divided by base area. So height equals to volume over base area equals to 150 divided by 10 times 4 equals 3.75 cm. All right, I want to talk about rate of flow of water. So basically, this is like a tap. Uh, there's a on off over here. And I say that the tap has 5 liters per minute. All right, so therefore, one minute, the tap will give out 5 liters of water or whatever the fluid is. So first question, how many liters in 10 minutes? So that's quite easy, right? So 10 minutes, okay, I need you to remember this formula. You take 10 divided by the one on top times the one opposite. So you get 10 divided by 1 times 5 equals to 50 liters. So how many liters? So this is easy, right? One minute is five liters. Ten minutes is fifty. So how many liters in fifteen seconds? That's interesting, huh? So one minute is five liters. Therefore, sixty seconds is five liters. So fifteen seconds is fifteen divided by the top times this. So it's fifteen divided by 60 times 5 equals 1.25 liters. Now this formula is super useful because I can give you some random number and say how many liters of water in 27.3 seconds. So I just take 27.3 divided by 60 times 5 so is 27.3 divided by 60 times 5. And that's the number of liters in 27.3 seconds. So it's a very useful formula. Um, those who are my students, you should have used this before. For other questions as well, you'll use it for your distance, speed, time. You'll use it for your ratios. You'll use it, use it for your units, your fractions. So learn this, all right? And it's really easy. After a while, you do it once or twice, you'll get it. Okay, so now I give you a total volume of 50 liters. How many minutes will that take? So again, one minute is five liters. So now I'm given the right-hand side, so I have 50 liters. Oh no, how do I find how many minutes? It's the same. You take the bottom, divide it by the top, times the other side. All right, so it's 50 over 5 times 1 minute. So that's 10 minutes. Alright, um, total volume of 12 liters. How many minutes? So let's take a look. 12 liters divided by 5 so I'll draw the arrow the other way. So 12 divided by 5 times 1 equals, and this is the answer. So I can even give you something funny like 63 seconds is to 1.7 liters. And what do I get 
in 12 seconds. So same thing, 12 divided by 63 times 1.7. 12 divided by 63 times 1.7 liters. And you get your answer over here. And I can say I want 5.3 liters. How many seconds would that take? So 5.3, 5.3, divided by 1.7 times 63. All right, and that will give you the number of seconds. So it's a very useful formula uh, for you to determine your rate of flow, which you will use in your uh, questions, uh, in the sample questions later. Okay, so that's how it works. Um, last one, area of parallelogram is area times breadth times height. So remember the breadth is, sorry, area times B times height. So the B is this entire thing. Huh? This entire thing is the B. And the height, you need the 90 degrees. So this 90 degrees is very important. This is not the height, okay? So do not multiply B by A. It's B by H. So you need to find the perpendicular height of the parallelogram.